But you're photogenic. Uh, you know, I, I did modeling back in the day, so maybe that's what it acquires, yeah. or I did photography, photography for so many years. I don't know what it is. No, you're, <laughs> you're, you're super photogenic. Um, I'm not. So I think I'm like way cuter in person than I am in, the, I, in my pictures. I think you're great looking in pictures. It's just you all do? in your head. I, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I look at it and I don't know. My lips are getting a little thinner, Michonne. And you're going to tattoo them. That. I know. No. I'm going to have you tattoo them. No. I need them done. <laughs> but I don't think I want. I don't think I want the single needle. I don't want to be laying in bed for four hours <laughs> with that single needle. Ugh. I know. But you are going to do my lips. I'm going to make you. But let's. So let's talk about single needle. You okay. Know, we'll segue into that. So for eyebrows, you know, I taught you girls, you know, the larger shaders, yep. right? Um, but lately, you've been killing it with that single needle. You like I, that single needle ombre. I've just been really liking it lately. It's been my jam. Yeah. I, just, I, I like it. It looks great. I like how it heals. Most of the time, I don't even need a touch up. So what's the big difference? So because you're, you're like a diehard shader girl. I am bigger needle girl but now you're crossing over and you're becoming a diehard little single needle uh girl and you have a lot of respect for both and in the industry michonne a lot of artists are either one or the other so they don't really um experience both or really master both so do you have a do you have a preference between i mean it's not really a preference it's more what did the what does the client want it to look like do they want it? Do they want an ombre? I like doing ombre with a single needle just because I think it looks softer. Yeah. I think it looks more just more natural to me. Yeah. And and then with a, you know, a powder brow, I'm not going to sit there all day with a single needle and do a powder brow. It's just going to take <laughs> forever. I'm going to get an eight shader and bang it out in 30 minutes. Yeah, because it does <laughs> take longer. So if you had to do, okay, because, right. So if we do just a classic powder brow, not one of these transparent or ombre brows, but a classic powder brow, which probably 50% of my clients want, or m my clientele, a higher percentage just want the classic powder brow. Yep. Um, how long does it take you... <laughs> To do a powder brow with a shader, 30 minutes, 25 yeah. to 30 minutes? Just tattooing, probably 30 minutes. That's okay. not including like drawing or numbing or anything like that. That's right. just tattooing. I just did one this morning with the Valhalla. <clears throat> and I had, well, you popped in for a second. Yep. And um, it was about 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I did an eight shader and it was great. So how long would it take you to do the same brow, single <sighs> needle? So anywhere from an hour and a oh. half to oh. two hours, <laughs> depending on their skin. If their skin's really good, less. But if their skin is just yeah. bleeding and juicy, it's going to take forever. Yeah, it's going to take Sometimes forever. Sometimes I'll just get the eight shader and be like, what the yeah. hell? Well, I think there's <laughs> certain skin types, even if they come in asking for the ombre or that more transparent look that the industry is really digging right now. There's some skin types that just... You just really can't use that single needle on, man. I nope. mean, you just can't. I had someone come in the other day that wanted a single needle ombre and her skin just would not take ink. And I was yeah. like, nope, not doing this. Get an eight shader. Change it out. Yeah. And there's um, and there's a lot of artists that, you know, I think they're stuck on the single needle. They weren't trained uh, in the bigger needles. So they're intimidated by the bigger needles. So they don't have that sec second option as a bigger needle. So um, I know here at the studio in our training classes, on my online course, my powder brow, I, we preach versatility. Doesn't matter. We're all going to have a favorite needle. Mm -hmm. Mine's eight shader, but when the single needle started getting really popular a couple of years, no, maybe what, three years ago? Um, and I was <clears throat> testing Loaded, yep. right? Loaded hadn't launched yet. Every eyebrow I booked, I tattooed with that damn single needle because... I wanted to learn it and master it, and um, and it is fun. I ha I had fun with it. I I, I like it. But I think that's why I like single needle now. It's your fault. It's my fault. Yeah, because you wanted me to test out loaded, and you're like, only do single needle. <laughs> I was like, okay. Well, I had to make sure the loaded line was great for single needle artists, right? Yeah. Because the single needle artist too, it seems. Um, you know, they use single needle, which implants way less pigment, mm -hmm. you know, way less pigment than five, seven, eight shaders. And single needle artists, they're working more shallow in the skin. Yeah. And they're going for that 
that transparent kind of look, especially in that ombre area. Mm -hmm. So loaded had to be really, really strong, a strong organic line that single needle artists that don't implant, you know, don't do high, high saturation and are working superficial loaded was going to perform for them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we, that's, that's when we, I think that is, that's when we all got digging on a single needle. That's when I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I always go back to my shader, Michelle. Every now and then I'll get someone in with like perfect skin. And I'll go, okay, this is the perfect candidate for that single needle. I might not get one of those again well, for a few I'm months. I'm still using my H shader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I'm not going to do single needle all day because that's just going to be killer for me. Well, you know what I've been doing lately? And I think we talked about this is from the tail into the bulb. not The not, transition. Yes, right? So eight shader mm -hmm. and then stop and then put in your single needle and whip the red, you know, whip. I've done that too. I love Sometimes that. I do that too. I love that because then you're not there like an hour or two hours, right? And you then, get, now and then I'm just in there for an hour. Yeah. You get three quarters <laughs> of it done really quick. Yeah. And then you just got to do that bulb. Yep. Yeah. So I love that. I like doing that too. It de like I said, it all depends on the, the look. I'll change yeah. it up. Yeah. So Na was out here and you know, she's single needle. And so she was talking about that. She was like, yeah, so if, um, you know, if their skin's really oily and, you know, the single needles, single needles aren't working good, I jump up to a bigger needle. I'm like, oh, yeah, what bigger needle? Oh, a three-liner. <laughs> I'm like, a three-liner? No. That's still an itty-bitty <laughs> needle. It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm bound and determined to get Na on, like, a five-shader. Well, she'll, she'll be here soon. Just yeah, she's coming out next week. Have her do it with one of, have her do it with Olivia. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get her on it. I'm definitely going to get her on it. <laughs> <laughs>